I know you like snow. Do you like cold temperatures? No. 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 Well, you can't I usually like... have snow without some cold temperatures. <laughs> Listen, I want everything. I want some snow with yeah. some sunshine, bluebird day, nice warm temperatures. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll see if I, I can stretch <laughs> this out through the weekend. Yeah. I could give you some warm and some sunshine and some snow, but you can't have them all in one day. Okay. So we'll stretch it out over two days. And the first part is the cold and the snow. The second part is the warmer stuff. And right now you see those snow showers. Uh, Greensburg, very light snow. This would extend uh, along 30 as you go out towards La Trobe, as you go to Ligonier, as you go up into Somerset. Then back into Washington, we have this little pocket of snow moving through town there. This is going to travel along 70 out towards Manesson. So uh, possible light coating with that when you get the darker blues, that would indicate a steadier snow. But zooming out, you can see we've had some breaks in these clouds right over Pittsburgh. So clouds and snow to the north, clouds and snow to the south. A little bit of the sunshine here in Pittsburgh, but the sun's going to be setting, so the, the, it's getting lower on the horizon. But not a bad looking evening and a mostly clear report coming out of the airport. 27 degrees. It's not going to stay mostly clear, I'll tell you that. Winds are pretty breezy. Westerly winds 15 miles per hour with 27 degrees. A wind like that makes it feel like 15 outside. So wind chills are the bigger uh, number, the representative number of what it feels like outside. And that's 15 in Pittsburgh, 16 Latrobe. 23 Morgantown. Butler feels like 14. Beaver Falls, 17. That's what uh, Newcastle feels like as well. And 10 looking up towards Franklin. Actual temperatures mid to upper 20s. So just know what the thermometer is saying is not how it feels when you walk out the door. Over the next couple days, as I said, cold and snow one day, 32. And then you get the warm and a little sunshine the next. And that's Sunday. So going through the weekend, a little something for everybody. So if you like the colder stuff, Tomorrow's your day. If you like it a little warmer with the sunshine, look for Sunday. Now, as we go out to the next couple of days, you're going to see a big shift. Now, we have those winds coming out of the north that's keeping the snow scattered around. A bigger area of snow with a disturbance passing to our south is helping this wind shift occur. And that cold air continues to drain in here. So we're going to see that lake effect activity. And up into the ridges tonight and tomorrow and up along... I-80, we're going to get a little snow, possibly up to an inch in the ridges. But as this high pressure gets closer, it cuts that snow off, brings back the sunshine. And into uh, the second half of the weekend, it actually starts to warm us up. Our winds will turn from the south, bringing in the warmer air, but also increasing the rain chances. Once we get into Monday, rain shower activity moves in and sticks with us pretty much through the week with the warmer temperatures. And then this time next week, we see another big drop. 18 tonight, mostly cloudy, a few flurries. Breezy too, so those wind chills will try to approach the single digits. And tomorrow, 32, another day that is a far cry from the 43 degrees that we typically have this time of year. Early flurries, some sunshine trying to break out in the afternoon. And you can see that uh, as the day wears on, it doesn't warm up too much, but at least it brightens up a little bit and continues to brighten up for Sunday. 49 degrees there with mostly sunny skies. Enjoy that day because even though there's warmer days in the forecast, that is where everything comes together. As we get into Monday, warmer temps with rain, even warmer still on Tuesday with rain, more rain on Wednesday, and that rain will mix with snow as temperatures fall Thursday and even some snow showers hanging around for Friday and next week. So lots of ups and downs in the forecast, but looks like this weekend is an upward trend. And with the sunshine, with the showers, you can keep it all straightened out with the KDK weather app. It has an hour by hour forecast, daily forecast alerts, even an interactive radar, and it's free to search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.